everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Hey, Laura. Hi. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> happy Friday to all of you. We've got lots of friends here. I see Wendy and Katie and Pickle Tink and Jamie and Karen, Belinda, Dawn, Daphne, Elba, <laughs> you sound, Charlotte. You sound like the romper room lady. <laughs> Do you remember Romper Room? No, that was before my time. She would hold up a mirror and she would pretend and she'd say, I see all my friends at home. I see Katie. I see <laughs> Angela and hey, Jocelyn's here. Welcome, Jocelyn. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here. And uh, let's see. Old Stuff Beth, Texas, Angela Marksbury. Nice. Welcome, everybody. There's Michelle, Sammy's Unique Finds, and Sandra Kay. Welcome. Pickle Tink says Frenchy she mom got her stuff and she loves it. That's always good. I'm always relieved. Look at that puppy. <laughs> Jocelyn, does your does the fear of shipping ever go away? Because I'm always scared <laughs> oh. after a sale that half of it's going to be broken when yeah. it gets there. We like crossed our fingers and <laughs> prayed over all the packages before we sent them out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Katie. Katie Garnet. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, Sandy and Tiger Lily, the niche lady, it goes away. <laughs> oh, no, Crazy Lamp Lady said Jocelyn no. Jocelyn said no. <laughs> Don't That's tell me that. <laughs> Karen Radford, my eyeballs are fried from staring at my phone all day. Some of you guys have had a lot of YouTube today. So if you have and you're here, we appreciate you. Yeah, we do. We're not going to hold it against you, though, if you have to duck out. <laughs> That's true. Some people have been on here all day. That's right. So don't go away. If you're just joining us or if you're brand new, um, at 915 Central, we sell five items. That's our Fat Bird Five. And so that's coming up. And so I'll start out the conversation with what are you drinking? We are back to Chardonnay tonight. We are. We had fancy drinks last week, courtesy of Nikki's recipe. Yes. And that was awesome. But yes. tonight we are back to your favorite yellowtail Chardonnay in the glasses that yeah. vintage and vinyl Katie has sent us a while back. Yeah, Katie sent us these. We love these. <laughs> they're they're making a, a reappearance. Spiked hot chocolate. That's fantastic. What do you we had this conversation the other day. What do you guys like to spike your hot chocolate with? Is it just I, of course I know peppermint schnapps. That's probably the best, right? right. But what else? Hmm. I don't know, man. I see Misty here. Welcome, Misty. Misty. Hey, Misty. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big fan of um, hot drinks, really, anyway. And so it's odd for me to think about drinking an alcoholic hot beverage. Yeah, I'm not a big, you know, I don't drink coffee me and either. stuff like that. So I'm, I'm the same. Bailey's, they're saying. Irish Kahlua. cream, Kahlua. That makes sense. It makes sense. I'll have to try that. Does somebody else... Received their order safe and sound. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Misty says that Mark went to bed early. <laughs> hey, let me see what Julie said. Julie, I received my scarf and I love it. Oh, good. Yay. We're so glad, Julie. <laughs> Sorry, I keep yelling. Was She's somebody like, like drink hot chocolate. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> when my mom first got her phone, she thought it was really cool to, to, to type all in caps because she could see it so well. I was like, Mom, stop. You're yelling at everyone. You know, from a graphic design standpoint, it's actually harder to read all caps. Really? It is. It's like a scientific study or something. They yeah. teach you that. Interesting. They do. Hi, Luke. I just Quir geeked out real quick for you there. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I like have to, it when you geek out. I have to throw out my knowledge when, when it's there, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. And Katie Vintage and got her scarves. Yay. Very good. Good. We've got another batch of scarves. Hey, Penny Flushy. Like. Ooh, Chardonnay and a Grey Goose Martini with blue, cheap, blue cheese olives is the only alcohol I drink. Wow. That's so specific. It's very specific. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, also, oh, I think D, can you put DV562 up there? Can I say this real quick? <laughs> so, <laughs> last week, Donna, I think your comment came through as Donna and like the letter N 
and then endurance. And of course I read it to be like endurance, like the word endurance. And uh -huh. I was like, I can't believe you think that's really her name. That's fantastic. And it was, <laughs> I couldn't even deal. Right. I didn't think it was. I was like, Oh no, that's just like her. She emailed she us and sure enough, her name was Donna middle initial endurance. I think she might've added that. Cause I think last week, I think it was the initial. I think, I think she added that after you thought it was supposed to be like a play on words. DV562. DV562. Are you Deborah? Is, is your first name Deborah? Are you Deborah V? I don't know if you want me to share your whole name or you would have put it up there. But I think that we got some, you know, we got something from you and I'm trying to figure out if this is you. Yeah, let us know if that's you. Yes, 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 yes. I'm drinking water spiked with water. <laughs> that sounds great. We we like water around here. Oh my God. Yes, she please? says yes. Oh, good. Okay, so just hang tight. We'll talk about that in a second. Can you go back up to Jamie's comment? That's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I love you 100, too. We love you 100. That's, That's adorable. That's so sweet. Oh. What's her name, Jamie? I can't deal with it. Oh. That's too cute. Oh, That's so great. Okay, so, yes. Again, don't go away. I'll put that ticker down there. Um, here in about seven minutes, seven minutes, we're going to be doing our Fat Bird Five. We're going to sell five items. They're real good. <laughs> yeah, that, it's going to be fun. Yay, Penny. Somebody said, yay, Penny. Oh, Bo. So, Bo. Hi, Bo. That's oh. a beautiful name. Just what a cool him. name. Oh, my God. That's so sweet. <laughs> I can't deal with it. That is so cute. Laura, how was your work week? Hmm. So my work week is busy. Mm -hmm. We are. You're always busy at the first, like the first week. Yes. We had the third. Auntie Christy, if you're on here, you know what that means. We had the first and the third, but thank God they weren't on Friday. Mm -hmm. So today wasn't quite as bad, but today was kind of a busy Friday. So thank goodness that yesterday was the third or we would have just been. Double slammed. busy. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, she says the bank this week was interesting. Uh, Yes. And it's interesting is right. Right. We're doing everything in the drive through because the, the lobbies are closed. COVID has like staff members out. Mm. So it's just a kind of a crazy mess. Yeah. But I mean, everybody's having a crazy mess. So. Bo is excited that we said his name. <laughs> oh, Bo. Penny, don't worry about that at all. That was. Mary Beth started it. I did. <laughs> I read that email and I immediately panicked because we had already packed up everything. And I was like, oh no, we've packed the wrong item in the wrong box. And then I just went into full on. And then I, she thought I invoiced you wrong. Thank you very much. And then I blamed Laura. <laughs> no, I'm just so thankful that we got that straightened out. So don't, don't worry about that at all. That was just, it's just one of those things. And that's pretty funny. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Annie P agrees with me, the first and the third. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Daphne says, congratulations, Laura, on being a yaw yaw. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. You noticed my daughter said she was drinking water. <laughs> Tonight, it's a dead giveaway, right? Indeed. <laughs> I have to say, Katie, I have to admit, when you were here last, when was that? What holiday was that? I don't remember. Maybe don't my either. birthday. Maybe it was your was birthday. Fourth, well, that was no, I think it was my birthday. I think she came for my birthday. Yeah, I think so too. And you didn't have anything to drink. I was like, mm -hmm. she was here on a Friday night for um, of my birthday weekend. I think for flipping and sipping. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then I think didn't... we cooked out the next day, and she didn't have anything to drink. And uh -huh. I was like, hmm, <laughs> Katie. I didn't say anything, but I thought it. <laughs> no guessing. <laughs> Mom, mom, you're fixing to drink lemonade. That sounds good. My mom made an apple pie. She called me. My apple pie recipe, my nanny's apple pie recipe. It was pretty, pretty good looking pie. She sent me a picture of it. Awesome. It didn't look as good as mine. <laughs> of course it didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Katie says she was waiting for somebody to catch that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Jocelyn says that's how she outed her sister. It's a dead giveaway, right? And, of course, you've asked somebody before you know it. Like, 
I'm surprised you didn't just say, really, you're not drinking? I mean, because I wouldn't think of that. <laughs> ah, I think, Nikki, I think you outed your sister that way, didn't I you? Did. And, and Nikki are. did say it out loud. <laughs> I was like, Megan, why aren't you drinking? It was on Christmas. On Christmas. Because then what are they supposed to say? Uh, <laughs> and then I mean, she started crying. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, that's not funny. Well... They cry. It is kind of funny because, you know, your hormones are so messed up. You cry at silly things. It's not like she was so upset she cried. She just, you know, probably will cry at anything. So Annie P is asking if we're having a, <laughs> a regular sale tonight. We're not. So we don't typically do that. So our regular is that we sell five items every Friday night. And that's coming up here in like three minutes. So we're going to sell five items. Every once in a while we have like a proper live sale. I love it when you say a proper sale. We have a proper sale. What? I love that. Proper as in like a full out live sale. <laughs> like a Jeffrey Misty Michelle type sale. Not Michelle. <laughs> God help us. We. I don't have the stamina. <laughs> I, I can say that because Michelle knows that I'm, I love her that so we much love her and so I'm much. kidding. Yes. I don't care how long she goes. I don't either. She can go all night. The longer, the better. Good for you. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear me talk that long. She says, when, uh, Jocelyn said, when I was in England, everything was proper. That's so cool. <laughs> so say, look how cool you are. I'm pretty cool. Proper. Yeah. We're going to have a proper sale. Another I wonder, day. I wonder, Nate, New Zealand kind of reminds me sometimes of things they do in England. I wonder if Nate says things are proper. I don't see him here. <laughs> Going to the pub for a proper pint. Nice. Very sibilant. Puh. Proper. Very. <laughs> what would he <Vinny> say? <laughs> That's just funny. Maybe one day when Laura quits her job, we can have proper sales more often. Yeah. If five or six items is the most that we can handle sometimes. Plus. Like if we've had a really bad week. Plus, let me give you guys a tip for right now. If you've got like anything on your shelves hanging out that you're like, no, I'm going to put this on eBay, but you know, I can't, I'm not getting around to it. Get around to it. Our eBay store has blown up in the oh. past, the past two weeks. Yeah, I mean, get out of town. I mean, I say blown up. We don't have a ton of stuff listed like a lot of you guys do, but for us, we've yeah. had a ton of sales lately on eBay. So if you're, if you've got things just lying around, you know, collecting dust that you're like, I'll get around to that one day. Get around to it like tomorrow because people are buying Christmas presents. Yeah, of course, we love to do the live sales and because that's all for all the stuff that is hard to list on eBay. But we, we really started this to kind of generate traffic to our eBay site. So, um, Mary Beth, you know that we only... There was only a couple of pieces of Fitz and Floyd that didn't sell last week. Right. We had a great sale. We did. Last week. Thanks to all of you. Thanks, Thanks to you. everybody. And you guys really love the Fitz and Floyd. I highly recommend picking that up. I know we've got a lot of resellers. So um, pick up Fitz and Floyd always if you're at the, you know, if it's thrift store prices. Because we went ahead, we had the two pictures mm -hmm. and they were, we were asking $30 a piece, which is the high end of what we ever ask for anything on a live sale. Plus, everybody knows that the pictures were going to be hard. A little pricier to ship mm -hmm. but Mary Beth turned around and put them on eBay right after that and they sold immediately immediately, <laughs> immediately. Both, of both of them to the same person yeah <laughs> and I listed I think I listed like 15 or 16 items earlier today and two of them have sold already mm -hmm. so list your stuff y'all that's my advice for the day Mary Beth's tip <laughs> very nice okay guess what time it is I bet it's time for the Bedford Five. Y'all, mm -hmm. hold on. I have to find oh, my graphic. Wait. I'm sorry. You I'm, love to interrupt me. I know. <laughs> I was trying to get to it before you did it. I'm sorry. I, I just want to shout out Deborah. Deborah. That sent us our game. Yes. We highlighted her comment before. Yes. And I don't know if she wants us to say her last name, so we won't. We won't. But she's listed, I think, as DV562, maybe? Yes. And she... Uh, had this awesome game sent to us in the mail. Look. Yay. We got a proper Trivial Pursuit game we of do. Friends. Thanks. So now we have two. We had a, a wonderful viewer send us one a couple of weeks ago. And now we've got another one. And we really can't have too many. It's taped up. I'm not going to open it right now. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah. This is going to be great. Love it. 
Yay! I won't I'm be. Trying to see, I'm sorry. I'm trying to see what crazy lamp lady sold that was their best sale ever. Um, can you find it? <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, so yeah, we can't. We won't ever have too many because we put them in our gift top. Uh, our gift toppers, package toppers, package toppers. We kind of put our name. We sign our names on there. I know that's silly, but we sign our names on there and stick in the game cards. So six hundred and seventy dollars. Wow. That's oh, incredible. that's fantastic. Good for you, Jocelyn. That's fantastic. Hey, that's a new one for me. I don't know Hickman Field. So I'm going to look that up. That's fantastic. I love it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to interrupt you now. Yes. It's time for the Fat Bird Bye. Yay. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> it's like a news segment. I know. I feel like we're on CNN or something. <laughs> Maybe we are on CNN. And here's the news. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay. I'm going to take notes. And uh, You are? Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Okay. So, the first item that we've got was a favorite. Hey, I was just going to suggest that. Are you interrupting me again? No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, so this was a favorite the other day on our little live haul that we did. So it's this little tea towel. It's got these little ladies uh -huh. walking their dog and doing their needlepoint. There's a little parrot. Hey, it's a little Pennsylvania Dutch style, right? I think so. Some of you Pennsylvanians like Jocelyn and a few others of you. Um, you can help me out. Maybe it's not, but I think it kind of is, right? Yeah, maybe. There's a little church. So it has the look of being kind of like cross-stitched, but of course it's not. That's just the design. Now, be aware that there are some stains in here, just like with any kind of vintage linen. You're going to have a little bit of that. Um, we have not tried to launder this. I am crazy about this one. I am crazy about those primary colors like that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Yes. So yeah. All right, Laura, you want to give us a price? I love it. Okay, Mary Beth, that one, it's number, uh, I mean, it's $12. $12. Okay? So it's totally vintage, $12, and it's number two. $12, number two. That's a cutie. Mm-hmm. You gave me a pen that's like gonna drive me crazy because I'm gonna sit there and play with it. Oh, I was in the post office. Oh. <laughs> I was at the post office, y'all, um, sending some of the stuff that we just sold in the sale. But anyway, I was in line and I know uh, we have prepaid postage, but sometimes because of the COVID, I don't wanna like slide past somebody to just go set the stuff up on the counter. So we were waiting and it was one of those little awkward post offices, you know, there's, there's no music and it's like silent, dead silent in there. Nobody's really talking to each other. And there was a guy, oh, I don't have a clicker. There was a guy clicking his pen and he did it incessantly the whole entire time we were in there. And I just kept staring at him. I was like, any minute, I'm going to say, dude, would you stop clicking your pen? I mean, he just clicked it over and over and over again. <laughs> it was insane. Okay, I have got Jamie for the win. Jamie. Okay, you refreshed and everything on yep. your phone. Okay. I have refreshed, and that is who I've got first. Jamie, congratulations. You have won the tea towel. Thanks, Jamie. Hey, Bo, your mom just got a tea towel. <laughs> congratulations, Bo. You little cutie. <laughs> oh, cutie. Okay, we've got a little fancy little dish here. I would say that was a nut dish. A nut or dish. Or a candy dish, right? Or a candy and dish. Look at those sweet little pansies on there. Their transfer where, you know, probably. I mean, yeah. Transfer. Yes. Yeah. On there but they're very pretty okay and so the mark on the back is Bavaria Germany we've come across several little German mm -hmm. plates and bowls and dishes lately mm -hmm. what is that and that one says something else too like old Nuremberg or something like that yes it top. does so actually I looked these up actually eBay has quite a few of these okay. on there, and they are all over the place. They're everywhere from, um, I don't know, 
all the way up to like 20 something dollars. Mm -hmm. But uh, I decided that we just needed to ask $10 for that one. Okay. $10 and it's number 14. $10, number 14. For your pecans and your things around Christmas time. Your candied <laughs> pecans. Yes. I'm laughing because Jamie's like, you only have a four-year-old's attention for so long. He's like long gone. I'm like, That's fine. That's true. <laughs> I forget. It's been a long time since mine were four. You better get to remembering. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm about to be reminded. I know it. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I've got the right person on both of my devices. And I do. I've got Sandra K as the winner. Thanks, Sandra. Thanks, Sandra. I had forgot to go through the rules. I'm sure everybody oh, yeah. here knows the rules. Um, if you are a winner of, of any of our opportunities to buy these items, we just need you to send an email to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your real name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address. That's right. And that's most important because some of you guys have no idea what your real names are. <laughs> we try. We try really hard. We do. I just, oh yeah. no, I forgot my spotlights. <gasps> oh, did somebody remind you? No, I just forgot. Oh, there they there are. They are. <laughs> what a disaster. Somebody said they're making hot chocolate for their kiddos. Have you guys, did we talk about this last time? Probably. You guys, <laughs> am I repeating myself? Probably. Great. I just wondered, I just am fascinated by the hot chocolate bomb things that are like all the rage now. I just wonder how they make those. I have a piece of uranium glass. Oh my goodness. It's everybody's favorite. Yeah, we needed more fanfare than that. It's uranium glass. I should have a song. It glows. Okay, so this one is really cool because it's got this like applied gold color on it. And then the gold is on the inside as well. You know what you call this, Mary Beth? A plate. <laughs> no, I mean like <laughs> where it has like the little the little ridges. What? In the glass that look like pleats or whatever. What? That's optic. Optic. Mm -hmm. May I have that little flashlight? Yes. Okay, so this is your oh, Laura. Oh my God. <laughs> I got it. Everything's under control. <laughs> That was going to be a big disaster. So, I mean, I, <laughs> I do have this light on us, so this does glow. Can we put the light on? No, it's okay, Nikki. So, yeah, there. You, I think you can kind of see. I think everybody, it glows really good. Okay. All right, Laura, do you I have... love it when they glow real big. <laughs> Fisher's <laughs> Fabulous Finds My Heart Just Stopped. Woo! That yeah, me funny. too. <laughs> okay. That little pretty dish. That okay. would be really pretty, like, with peppermints on it for the holidays. Oh, I love that dish. That one's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking for it. It's at the top. Oh, $18. $18. $18. It's number 62. $18, number 62. Pretty. Jocelyn, I don't know about you. You you probably don't have this problem, but I, I have noticed on eBay, uranium glass does not bring a whole lot. And I'm just curious about that because it's wildly popular on these live sales and stuff with this crowd of people. And I love it. But I just wonder why it doesn't bring so much on eBay. I think you could almost go on eBay and buy the stuff and sell it at the live sales. Just about. Just about. I mean, it just really doesn't bring a whole lot. Okay, It's well, odd to me. Oh, I took my glasses off. I was like, why can I not see this? Okay. Let me just make sure I've got the right person. And I do. Lisa Jones. Oh, thanks, Lisa Jones. Thanks, Lisa Jones. Enjoy that. I love that one. You got one of my favorites. It's a good one. So if you guys know me very well, you know that I really, really, really like carnival glass. So I've got like Melinda's. I've got like my vintage circus slash carnival posters all over my house, and I accompany those with carnival glass. But it's, <laughs> it's a theme. I like it. It's a theme. I I've like got my it. carnival posters and my carnival glass. So <laughs> it's a theme in here, and we have a really cool piece of carnival glass. I think this is an old piece. I love it. 
I be, we've, we've looked this up and I do believe that this is antique. It's not just vintage. I think so. I'm not, I'm not any kind of an expert on this though. We just kind of are learning as we go with the carnival glass, the differences in them, but I love this one. So this is a really, really light color of the marigold. And it's, uh, they call this fish scale with beads. Show the inside for the fish scale. Cause it, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So they call this fish scale and these are raised. You can feel them. And then the beads are on the outside. Mm -hmm. So this was made by Dugan glass. That's what most of them said when we looked it up. It's, I don't know that it has a mark or anything. It doesn't. It's not marked. Okay. But this is what all, you know, kept coming up and kept coming up. Yeah, that one is so sweet. That's this is this is kind of one of my favorites that we found in a long time. I agree. I like this really light like it's almost like opalescent. Mhm. Mm Mary Beth loves the darker colored pieces, but we don't ever find them around here. Yeah, I like the really dark purples and the the dark blues. The other, like Laura said, they're hard to find mm -hmm. here. Here anyway. Yeah. Okay. So Laura. Yes. Would you like to give me a price and an item number? Maybe I'll just take it home instead. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can't keep everything, Mary Beth. It's $14. $14. And it's number seven. Number seven. We're getting a lot of good knowledge. I'm soaking it in, you guys, even if, if I don't say it out loud. But yeah. Um, I'm catching all your comments over there about the carnival glass. That's good. We appreciate it. I love it when I learn something new. Me too. We don't, we do not, you know, like pretend to know everything. Even growing up in the, in the antique business with my mom, she loved all the furniture and stuff and, and the, the small things were secondary to her. She would, we, she always had small things because she would buy estates and stuff like right. that. And, uh, but we never got the books down and studied those and everything. Cause she just sort of priced it to, to move on. Right. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. Karen Radford, you've got the carnival glass. Karen Radford. Thanks Karen Radford. I have to say that's one of my favorite carnival pieces that we found. I love that one. <laughs> well, it's too cheap. Okay. Okay. Our fifth item is this cute little <laughs> donkey giraffe. <laughs> we showed him the other night too. Some of you guys thought he was a giraffe and some of you guys thought he was a donkey. That oh, is so. up for debate. He is whatever you want him to be. Michael Todd. Welcome, Michael Todd. And I think I saw Pamela Blanchard too. So hello. Come on in, join us. So We're his, selling. he's not marked. Um, his little feet, his front two feet have been like taped over with masking tape. And then he doesn't have anything here. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yo, ho, ho. Yo, so boho. He's a fancy ass. <laughs> That's true. He is. It looks like he's got whiskers. So maybe he's a cat, donkey, giraffe. I'm not good at this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's great. All right, Laura, do you have a price and an item? Oh, I do. He's too cute. Um, coincidentally, I had $14 for him as well. So okay. $14, and he is number 21. $14, number 21. <laughs> <laughs> donk a donk. Gerdonk a donk. Michelle. Michelle, that's great. <laughs> Michelle, I think you're delirious from your, from your day of YouTubing. <laughs> I would be too. The niche lady says, I think I see a little, see, see a little zebra in there too. Maybe so. Who knows what he is? <laughs> but I've got Brooke Lagan for the donkey giraffe cat. Zebra. Awesome. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Guess what I have. What? Guess. Um, Guess. I don't know. What number are we on? That was the fifth item. <laughs> okay. Then 
Maybe you had, maybe you've got a bonus. I have a bonus. <laughs> it's an elephant. I have a bonus elephant. Yay. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm so sorry. You caught me reading comments again. You love to do that. I know. So look at her with her little flowers. Oh, that's a good one, Mary Beth. And she's got her little ear pinned up here with a flower. She's from your A-plus haul. She is. You got an A-plus for that one. She's unmarked as well, but she looks pretty old. Oh, yeah. Look, she's vintage as all heck. <laughs> what? I said she's vintage as all heck. She's vintage as all heck. <laughs> so look, you could put a cute little air plant in there. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that darling? Karen Rafferty says, she's a cutie. Just put her in my box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is cute. She's a good one. Okay, so let me just point out a couple things. Here on the back of her, she's got a couple little uh-ohs, a couple little flea bites. She does have some crazing, if you can see that. I think that's it. She might have a few little pieces of paint loss here and there. The front of her is actually in pretty good shape. She just has those couple little uh-ohs on her butt. <laughs> Michael says she's kind of annoyingly happy. <laughs> the niche lady, where do you find all these air plants? I actually bought a bunch of air plants from Amazon. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm, I just did. ordered them right up. I did. Oh, yeah, somebody else told me that too. Danny, Amazon Danny. <laughs> okay, Laura. Oh, she's cute. She's the bonus elephant, and we try to keep the bonus elephants less pricey, so we just have her for $12. $12. $12, number 28. $12, number 28. She's a cute one. <laughs> I love her. Oh, they're saying sometimes they're sold out on Amazon. Mm. Uh-huh. Julie, I always kill my air plants. That's probably what would happen to me. How do you kill an air plant? Like, do they... they I killed one of mine. Oh, well, how do you do that? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I overwatered it or maybe it got waterlogged. Because you're supposed to, like, soak them in water once every seven or eight days or so. Hmm. Yeah, one of mine didn't make it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was just his time. That's what would happen to me. Vintage Conversation. I've got you for the bonus elephant. Oh, there's that cute little gingham girl on that <laughs> logo that I love so much. Vintage Conversation. I've got it. Thanks, Vintage Conversation. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. That was fun. Y'all, that was so much fun. Thanks for indulging our Fat Bird Five. <laughs> that was great. <sighs> All right. Good job, everybody. Thanks so much. Guess what? What? $15, number nine. What? <laughs> $15 for what? Number nine. Oh, my God. You're going to drive people crazy. We've already done the bonus. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you even killing? I mean, you're ki you're kidding me. I love to do that to you. Why don't I get to do something fun like that? Well, I guess you could think of something. Uh, <laughs> holy cow, Mary Beth. That was fun for me. Let's see who I've got. Oh, you're going to have people just like rioting. I've got Catherine Young. <laughs> She got our Afghan at our Christmas sale. That's right. Catherine, you've got mystery box. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very fair, was it? Well, uh, you startled everyone, including me. That wasn't fair, was it? No. We'll, Let's do one more. <laughs> we haven't figured out a fair way to do it yet. Let's do one more and give them a little bit of notice. All right, everybody. Go refresh. You'll have a fighting chance. She's going to do one more. You're going to put them together. <laughs> refresh your screen if you feel like you need to do that. I'll give you like you know, our two little, minutes. I, I, I guess it's okay because on our little live haul, that yard sale stuff that you got is adorable mystery box stuff. Plus, we've got all those scarves and 
vintage linens and towels and there's all kinds of things we could put in there. <laughs> okay, Catherine Young, you're not eligible for the next one. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's true. Yes. You, you can't do it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love to do that to you. Yeah, you got another minute. Refresh if you need to. <laughs> that was great. Who, who won that again? They were on their toes. Catherine man. Young. She was not even kidding around. Right? She was on it. I mean, we are we have a lag, and I almost immediately saw her put that number in. <laughs> oh, it was a sneak attack. That's right. A sneak attack. Oh, my God. This is, like, not the Fat Bird 5. It's, like, 8. <laughs> Oh, Jeff, well. Jeffrey will have a field day with this one. He likes to tease us. He does. It's the Fat Bird 5 or 10 or <laughs> 12 or whatever they feel like. Oh. Eddie, I thought you were kidding. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, me we're going to do it again. Eddie. We're going to do it again. One more. I'll give you guys one more shot. Okay. $15. $15. And this one is... $15 and it's number 10. Number 10. <laughs> Did you just say nine and 10? No. Yeah. The first one was nine. <laughs> that one's 10. Oh, you guys want to never guess that one, would you? Well, it was the best I could do <laughs> on the spur of the moment. <laughs> oh my God. That's so much fun. You guys don't know. <laughs> How much I wish we could do these for all of you, but we just simply don't have that much stuff. We've got we've got we've got a lot of bigger things, but we you know in, in our mystery boxes we like to fill them with smalls, and we just don't have that many. You know what? When we make them this week, we'll see how much stuff we have. We'll get it all out because we have we have actually gotten quite a few nice littles lately. So maybe next week. Old stuff, Beth Texas. Old stuff, Beth. It was you. Congratulations. Thanks. Cheers. Old, cheers to the mystery boxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it, really. That's all. That really is it. I, I'm cutting. I'm cutting her off. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> I'm gonna go get refills. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Wendy said, I'm, "I was number ten. Does that count? That's pretty inventive." It's true. You know what? Hey, why well, I've never thought of that before. You know, like you call in on the radio. Uh, if you're the sixth call. Yeah, if you're number 13, you win the tickets to see Cheap Trick. Well, I we want to go see Cheap Trick. We could do that. That way, that way, not just number one person gets the mystery box. That's actually a really good idea. So whoever said that, Wendy Melton, that's really smart. I like it. I like it too. Maybe we'll do that next week. Yes. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give some shout outs here. Let's do this. Okay. So, are you taking the controls? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so, Jamie at Mid Century Wasted has mystery boxes for sale on Instagram on Monday. Monday. Um, all of your, most of your favorite resellers that you guys watch a lot have begun to do mystery boxes in their live sales. So check those out. And somebody actually did win cheap trick tickets on the radio. That's Stop funny. it. <laughs> um, and then also we love to see you guys open the boxes because we're, uh, we just like to see your reactions, right? So if you do that on a video, tag us and let us know and we'll add you to our playlist. We have a playlist of um, videos that our friends feature us in. Right? Yes. Did, did you add mystery box to the name of that? No, I think it's just called, the playlist is just called videos our friends have featured us in or something really Can inventive. you put mystery boxes in there somewhere? I mean, that would just be too, <laughs> too great. So yeah. So anyway. Okay, cool. So don't forget if you are Lisa Jones, Brooke Lagan, Jamie, Mid-Century Wasted, Sandra Kay, Karen Radford, Vintage Conversation, or Katherine Young. Well, who was the last one? Oh, it was Old Stuff Beth Texas. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Or Old Stuff Beth Texas. Please send us an email to fatbirdfinemail.com. Even if we've already sold you, I know we should have your information. It just helps us to stay organized when we have those emails in our inbox. 
That would be really cool if you did that. We would appreciate it. It, yes, keeps me organized. <laughs> it keeps Laura or organized. Yes, it does. Okay. Yay. Thanks, everybody. That was super fun. So, you guys know if you watch our videos very often that my mom and Guy, my aunt Guy, pick up things for us whenever they can. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so cute. They have started a little shelf at Layman's, my mom's store, and I get to like go shop the Layman shelf. Well, isn't and they that put cute? all the stuff that they get, thinking that I might want, and they put it on the shelf. And then I get to go shop there. And then when I'm done, mom's like, okay, well, I'll put the rest of it out. And then we start over. That's adorable. So we have to video that sometime, right? We would, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. That's so cute. Love so it. we have a little haul from Guy. She's found a new honey hole. It's a secret. It's a secret place, but it, she got some really cute things. So we're going to show you guys. This is like a cigar box from Hojo's. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is so cute. So that would have been on their little, you know, their little glass display case at the cash register or whatever at the front of either the restaurant or the check-in station. That is so cute. I love that. Look, 15 cents was the original price on those. I want to go to a Hojo's, but like a Hojo's for Mad Men, not like one today well i started to say didn't we stay in one yeah but it was like katie was thinking we stayed in one on the way to florida we did we did but like the one like the hojo's in uh, Mad Men. yeah it's really cool looking yes and that's what this is super vintage right <laughs> i see somebody saying i'll buy that box <laughs> okay uh, that reminds me too if you see anything from henceforth <laughs> No, from now forward, we are not going to sell anything tonight. So right. if you see anything you're interested in, just email us. Mm -hmm. That's a really good way to get something without competing mm -hmm. with a bunch of people at a live sale. Right. You just email us how much is the box. We'll shoot you the price back and go like that. Yep. And that goes for anything in our regular videos as well. So anything that we show yeah. like in a haul, we would love to work with you that way. We're mm -hmm. in Kentucky, Lisa Jones. We did that from... We Western had, Kentucky we had to be more several specific. people email about the little turtle mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I used time, the timestamps on the emails to see who was first. Yeah. Somebody, a vintage conversation says Hojo's in Texas are now tacky. Yeah. The one we stayed in was kind of tacky. <laughs> That's really cool. I like this. Mm -hmm. Western Kentucky. We're in Paducah. It's really hopping and happening. I feel like time. I need to be in control of what you pull out of that box over there. Oh. That's okay though, I won't. This is a jewelry box. Yeah, that one's just that one's cute, right? It's just a little mini jewelry box. Yes. I think I'll find I'll find us some little jewelry sometime to go with that and put that in a live sale. So that's kind of cute. That's cute. Mm -hmm. It doesn't play music or anything. It's just the just the music box. I mean, just the jewelry box. Jocelyn called you tacky. <laughs> she's gonna, I bet she's going, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's laughing because we said tag. Yes. Okay. That's cute. cute. What is this? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't like those, but I bet somebody likes them. Are you kidding? I love these. Oh, you do? <gasps> I never know about you. Look at this guy. <laughs> Oh, I forgot one's a pirate. That's right. He looks like Captain Morgan. He has a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's on the Laura's tacky bandwagon. <laughs> Thanks a lot. This guy isn't as cool, but he thinks he's pretty cool. <laughs> who do you think he's supposed to be? I don't and know. who are those guys in the boat behind him? I don't know. I like I find this weird. I find it like an odd mixture of a pirate and some sort of a I don't know. Ad, uh, I don't even know what he is. General? I don't know. He's got buckles on his shoes. What is that? <laughs> and then this is just some sort of Americana what revolutionary <laughs> era eagle logo of some sort. I don't know. I think it's odd. I don't know either, but I love <laughs> this pirate. With his shovel. 
And look, he's got treasure back there. He's already digging for treasure. I love this. And these frames are like plastic. Yeah, they're just plastic. They don't weigh anything. Oh my gosh. This, it probably wouldn't be very expensive. Th this is one of my favorite things ship. that has ever happened. <laughs> of course you're going to say that because I said, oh, you probably aren't going to I want to hang him in my office. <laughs> I wish you, now you're going to have to. Somebody oh. said that's very Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, Pickle Tink. Oh my gosh, your name. Pickle Tink at Fatbird Finds. One of my grandmother's husbands is the original creator of Captain Morgan. Stop it. What? I love all these brushes with celebrity that we, <laughs> we I know. get. All we say something stories. every week and then somebody's like, well, I know who that is. Or I saw him at the bar. <laughs> Somebody said, is that Johnny Depp? It looks like it. Pamela said, I love the little snowman behind you and, and the, the uh, lamp. My, the Christmas story lamp. Christmas Pamela. story lamp. I was figuring that Carrie, I, I'm trying to get my pointing right. It's a major award. Move your head. The wrong way. I was just kidding. I, I was <laughs> figuring that Carrie would love this little owl. In his dapper little bow tie and his top hat. <laughs> I have a swan. Oh, he's so fancy. Isn't he fancy? Look, he has a zip tie around his neck. Oh, I should have I should have cut that off. That is really fancy. <laughs> but look, he's pretty. I agree. And look at the bottom of him. See what he says? 22 karat gold. 22 karat gold. And I don't know. You could melt this down and make some jewelry. You can't. But Salem O. So I guess that's Oregon. Salem, Oregon. And I don't recognize, but I don't recognize the maker. Some, it somebody says sweaty. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> laughing because and they said a proper swan. It's, it's a, a proper swan. It is. It's gold. Right? You could, you know, really buy some something with this. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Hi, Cindy with a Y. Cindy with an I. A Y. C-Y. That's right. <laughs> I got that wrong, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Okay. She does have an I at the end. She does. Cindy with a Y. I got that wrong. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. You're ahead of me. Okay. No, I think the rest of it is this. And I knew you were going to die. Let me unwrap all this first. She's not quite a surprise because I, I just had to show her a picture, but she hasn't seen it in person. But you guys, this is Mary Beth's favorite, as you guys know. You'll see. Here, Everything's my favorite. I know. I'm really winning you over to the vintage scene. You really are. You're getting favorites all over the place. Yeah. But what, I mean, come on. What do you think? I'm impressed. I can't believe Gee found this. And I can't believe we get to show this on a night that Jocelyn is here. Yeah, because, Jocelyn, don't go away. <laughs> yeah, because we're just going to show this real quick. Jocelyn is the one that taught me about dragonware. But look. Oh, my gosh. And I'm sorry. It's a little bit dirty. Because it's just come out of the box. I didn't want to spoil it for Mary Beth. We're seeing it. But, yeah, even my mom didn't know about dragonware. And she didn't know about the lithopanes in the bottom of Dragonware. So have you got to a cup yet? I'm working on it. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. So you you and those are the impressive pieces. So you yeah, we'll save these for last. So I'll show the cup while you're un unwrapping all the rest of that. Yeah, so probably you guys are not going to be able to see... I've got it turned this way first because you can see the indentions of the lithopane. <laughs> like, hey, if you're in these little junk shops, I told my mom, I said, don't pick up the cups and look. Like, because you have to hold them up to the light. You have to make a real spectacle of it to be able to see the lithopane. I was like, don't do that until you price it because people don't know that. People don't know that's in there. It's like, don't, don't, don't give it away because it's so super cool. I mean, the minute they see that, they're going to be like, oh, well, that's more money than that. So good. So awesome. But yeah, it's hard to show you guys this. How did we do it last time, Mary Beth? Did we, we, did you... we shone a flashlight. Th that, that flashlight wouldn't work. Really? No. <laughs> You're right. But you guys know. You guys know what it looks like. How many pieces of this are there? There's a lot. 
But you know, in in Mary Beth's last haul, we had a little bitty one, and it had a little hoochie mama in there. It had a little. Yeah, Jocelyn just said, "Wait until there's a naked lady in yeah. there." We have a little bitty one. It has the little naked lady in it. But this one has the geisha in it. Yeah. Hey, Nicole. Welcome. Is it? Is it Hi, Nicole, Christy. Is it North or Nesting Haven? It's Nesting Haven. Hey, Nicole, Nesting Haven. I haven't seen North in a little bit. And I haven't seen Aaron tonight either. The naked lady ones were for the soldier market. Yeah, I know, right? And they're hidden in there. And so you don't really know. But, and this is not a full set, but there's a lot of pieces. Maybe. Yeah, so we've got two cups. So we would split it up because there's... So two cups. Yeah, you want to try that? I'll try. Okay. Hold on. Because if nobody, I mean, most of these people have seen the Lithopanes, paints, but if you haven't, it's super cool. Yeah, the Naked Lady is so much fun. Oh, yeah, you did it. Excellent. Can you see that? Look at her. She looks pretty stern, doesn't yes, she? Yes, she does. <laughs> and look at that fancy thing in her hair. Isn't that great? Yes. She's beautiful. Okay, so two cups. Yeah, two cups and saucers. Yes. Right? Okay. And there's four plates, I think. Four plates. So those are cool. But then these are... There's one on the plate. Oh, look how dirty they are. I'm sorry, y'all. That's okay. I'll clean that better. But this is so cool. The teapot is missing. That's the bad news. But the good news is, check this out with no damage. And look how big they are. Look. Look at that. Look at the spout. And they've got all the Moriyagi on there. Isn't he gorgeous? These are awesome, Laura. I love these. I love how big they are. Yeah. Really, when I looked it up, the teapot is only, it only stands a little bit taller than these. But like I said, somehow it probably got broken or whatever. I mean, it's, isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Also, Jocelyn, while you're on here, I don't know, we had a, we had a sake set mm -hmm. not too long ago. We sold it on eBay, but this, and I'm sure you know what a so the difference in the sake set. You know, they're smaller. They got the little bitty cups, and every one of the little bitty cups had the lithopane. And then the tall piece had a little bird on top. And one of our viewers told us, and I couldn't believe it, the bird whistles when you pour <laughs> the liquid out of it. Craziness. Craziness. So, yeah. So this, oh, she, what did she say? Somebody said something about they react to the heat. Wait, we're gonna we're about to learn something else. Oh, good. Moriyagi, I think, is said with the hard G because it's Japanese. But a lot of people say moriage. That would be kind of a French pronunciation of it. I think. I think but you can say it either way. It's correct, whatever way you want to say it. So this set does not go with what we're showing, but I wanted to show the lithopane. In, in this little teacup while we were talking about it. Somebody was saying that the heat shows the image. If you guys would, oh, the niche lady says, yes, the hard G. I think so too. I think it's the hard G. But if somebody would put the comment in again about the heat thing, that would be great. Oh, you're gonna show the, the naked lady. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so there's this one. She doesn't go with this set, but we came across her yeah, she just has a crack is all. The yeah. has a little crack, which is sad. <laughs> I think that's cool anyway, though. It is. It's awesome. Laura, I cannot believe. Do you love it? I love it. I know. It's so exciting. And I know I sent you a picture, but aren't, they're more impressive in person, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, way more impressive. I love it. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Thanks. I knew you would like that. Guys, that was our content. Mm -hmm. Can you believe we had content? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted, we had content. <laughs> Nobody can believe it. This overstuffed house says, most sake is served warm, so they needed a way for the heat and steam to escape. Sake is potent, <clears throat> too. Yes. Yeah. That is really cool. And 
if you see that thing whistle when you pour out of it, it's just. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Somebody it? told me that. They were like, if you pour that out of there, it's going to whistle. I was like, whatever. And, and it did. As far as content information goes, just, just so you guys know, um, that set sold for about $90 on eBay, I think. So I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. Because we saw comps and everything. So I thought we, we got a really good deal. I mean, we got a really good amount out of that one, I think. That would make me incredibly nervous to ship. What? All that. All of that? Yeah. I think we should sell it separately. I don't really want to sell it all together. I don't want to pack it all in a box together. I'd yeah. rather just, like, sell the cups or sell the plates or. Yeah. <laughs> The niche lady says, I watched my then 21-year-old daughter keep drinking sake, and I warned her the worst hangover of her life. <laughs> I have not tasted it. Have you? No, I haven't. I have not. <laughs> but I would. Well, this is flipping and sipping. I mean. Maybe sure, we need to do that. Surely time. we need to. The next time we get a sake set, we'll have to taste it, right? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in for whatever. Um, I do know that wine, like just wine like we're drinking if I drink like a lot of it it makes it gives me a really bad hangover yeah I, I can't drink much of it they're saying uh, some people are saying never had um, never had sake yeah must leave bye Wendy bye Wendy hey Wendy thanks for the idea about the mystery boxes I really think we're gonna end up trying that I think that's a fun idea yes to just pick a number and have like number eight or something. You get it. Yes, yes, yes. You'll have to pick. I mean, obviously we'll pick it before time, but. Now I do like sushi. You don't like sushi, do you? No. I do. Look. Hey, Mary Beth, I'm just developing this idea, but we'll have to put like numbers in a bowl and let somebody choose like after the bidding happens on the mystery boxes so that it doesn't look like we read it and made it up. What are you talking about? I'm back to the mystery boxes. Don't ask me what I'm talking about. <laughs> she snapped it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Sometimes Laura gets mad. <laughs> Look, this game, this friends game that Deborah sent us is shaped like the little pieces of pie. Oh, that's cute. In a Trivial Pursuit game. Well, how cute. Isn't that cute? Bye, Misty. Bye, Misty. Hope you have a great day tomorrow. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Laura and I might go to an auction. Yeah, we've got an auction to go to tomorrow. It's it's going to be an outside auction. This this person that, that does these typical auctions that I'm talking about normally does them on Friday nights, and we can't make it. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow he's doing one on Saturday, and it's outside. Yes, because of COVID, he's got to have it outside, so it's got to be in the daytime. Mm -hmm. It's got to be nice. So. so I'm going to take him up on that and participate yeah. in his auction. So we will see. I think he's got lots of salt and pepper. I saw some swung vases. Nice. I saw some paperweights. There was a whole box of paperweights. I, I, I bet we're not lucky enough to get those. I well, bet those go high. We haven't had a ton of luck at those auctions, like the in-person auctions lately. Yeah. The last few that we've been to, we kind of got mad. <laughs> yeah. We have better luck at the online auctions. Yeah. Uh, Katie at Vintage and Vinyl is going to be putting up her aluminum Christmas tree. Yay. Awesome. I like those aluminum Christmas trees. Nicole at Nesting Cave Inn is telling you that she's heard that dry farm wines in Napa is a no hangover wine. Nicole. Mm -hmm. There you Let's go. Say more. <laughs> no, that sounds good. I love that. I'll have to look into that. Dry farm wines in Napa. Okay. Got it. Okay, do you want to answer a question? Let's do it. Let's play a game. Megan, you might have to answer the question. <laughs> oh, she's assuming that I'm not going to know this trivia. Oh, is it friends? What is Ross's ultimate fantasy? This is from season three and four. What is Ross's ultimate family? Good night, Pamela. Good night. Night, Carrie. Do you drink Purple Toad? We have Purple Toad here. We do. Yeah. Hey, where is Michelle from? I don't know. She must be from around here. Yeah, that's a Paducah winery. Mm -hmm. um, it's awfully sweet for me. A lot of it's really sweet. You like it, probably. I do. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not my favorite, but yes, I've had it. 
I see the correct answer. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> correct. Nice. Good job, Katie. All right. Well done. You get 100 points, Katie. Rain Song 9 got it, too. <laughs> Good job. Oh, the, yeah, there's several people that got it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Keep them coming. Okay, I'm working on it. What's the categories? Well, they're they're in they're by seasons. Oh, so God, how many seasons of Friends are there? What seasons do you guys want? Early, middle, or late? Yeah, somebody call out a season when I guess there's ten. Yeah, this is Friends. Sorry, Southern Mermaid, I didn't announce that very well. <laughs> somebody tell me what season they want. Okay, you go and then I'll go. If you guys like to keep score, 10 points for every right answer. We'll tell you how many is a perfect score at the end. I'll tell you how many we, we read. Laura loves to keep score. I like to keep score. I see season one. One of these days, we're going to have points. Okay. Where does the gang find Rachel's lost wedding ring? This is season one and two. Where does the gang find Rachel's lost wedding Ooh. ring? Season one and two. Do you know? No. Do you know? I just saw the episode where she returns the ring. Megan got it. Megan knows it. Oh. <laughs> Katie is on it. Lasagna. Oh. That's right. Katie, good job. Rachel's missing ring was in the lasagna. <laughs> Rachel's missing ring was in the lasagna. <laughs> Do you have to play some turnips? <laughs> So yeah, that's how the that's how the series starts with Rachel like in a wedding dress. That's like the very first episode. Well, I know, but later on when like Phoebe and Ray and Monica are catering, she loses a ring in the in the lasagna. I don't remember. I don't think she that's right. A, she loses a fake nail in lasagna. A fake nail. Monica loses a nail. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay. What season do we want next? Well, I'll do another one. They like the early ones. Okay, okay. After Ross wishes to be married again and Rachel walks into Central Park wearing a wedding dress, for what does Chandler wish? What? Oh, Say it again. Oh. It says, after Ross wishes to be married again and then Rachel walks into Central Park wearing a wedding dress for what does Chandler wish? You know, he's such a smart LA. Oh, I know. I know who it is. <laughs> I think does he, I'm probably wrong. Is it Isabella Rossellini? No, I saw, a, I saw the answer. I see the answer. They're getting it. What is it? A million dollars. A million dollars. I think there is an episode where he wishes <laughs> for Isabella Rossellini. A million dollars. Ding, ding, ding. That's the correct answer. Good night, Christy. Good night, Christy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phoebe thinks Ross's sonogram looks like what? If you tilt your head to the left and relax your eyes. <laughs> is, that, is that the early seasons too? That's season <laughs> one and two. Phoebe thinks Ross's sonogram looks like what? If you tilt your head to the left and relax your eyes. I don't know any of these. I don't either. Oh, thanks, Empty Nesting, too. Isabella Rossellini was supposed to be on Ross's list. That's right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are good. Question. A how peanut, long, somebody says. Is that the right answer? That's not correct. Oh. Question. How long should you wait on an email from someone that bought at a live sale? They weren't at second live sale a week later. I don't know. I mean, I think a week is plenty. I think a week is plenty. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's hard to say. If I know the person, that might be different. But if, 
if it's someone that I don't know, that is a, that I'm, I'm not sure. I wouldn't wait longer than a week if I didn't know the person. Jocelyn, thank you so much for being on here. It was fun. It was fun to have you on here. Tonight. Yes, we loved having you here and hope that your editing goes well. And I hope that your weekend is awesome. Good luck editing. Mary Beth's yet to teach it to me, but I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> I think that's coming. <laughs> Good night. Okay, so the answer was an old potato <laughs> on the sonogram. Oh, Phoebe. An old potato. I don't think anybody got that one. Megan, did you know that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay my turn okay this says Phoebe receives compensation after finding a thumb in what a thumb like a person's thumb I don't know about that oh god oh my goodness has anybody got that one? Oh, Katie Vin and Jemino got it. A can of sodas? A can of, and, and, and my Katie. The two Katies are really coming in hot. <laughs> We're impressed. Can of soda. This That's it. The of the show. Uh, okay, here's one. This is also seasons one and two. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Rachel's bank calls her to discuss unusual activity on her credit card. What was it? Rachel's bank calls her to discuss unusual activity on her credit card. What was it? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, will you highlight Auntie Christie's comment there? She's been doing an unboxing of a friend's advent calendar on her channel. Oh, that's funny. I wish I had that for me. <laughs> Be quiet, don't sell. <laughs> Buying on the Fat Bird Finds Live suit. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, so the answer is not being used, that she hadn't been using it. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> Somebody said porn. Good job, Nettie. <laughs> good job guys that's funny I mean it's just so when you after you know it it's really obvious of course that's what it would be mm -hmm. she shopped all the time exactly what are you guys doing this weekend that's the next question what are you doing this weekend do you are you going to any sales are you going to any auctions are you hanging out are you decorating your house are you shopping online for gifts i'm very stressed out about gifts christmas presents mm. not that i'm a big shopper in person anyway i feel like i always like you do that all the time i know i feel like i always buy my gifts online but this year i feel very stressed out about it i guess it's the fact that i can't i guess i could go shopping but i don't really want to i know but you're always, come on, you're always stressed out about shopping for Christmas. That's true. Do you remember the year that you were so stressed out? <laughs> the, like the day before Christmas Eve was like a Saturday. And we went and bought um, special mugs so that we could have wine. And we took our wine with us and went out shopping. <laughs> I remember that. That was great. We had like to-go cups, like coffee cups. Because <laughs> Mary Beth couldn't even. She's like, I can't. I can't even handle this. I'm Everybody's so going to think we're alcoholics. No. That was a special I, circumstance. It was. We've never done that again. <laughs> That's funny. We've never done that before or since. Somebody's doing laundry. That's no fun. Listening on eBay, that's what we need to be doing. Yes, we because need to be doing more of that. I know. I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you, it's my tip. If you've got stuff that need to be listed, <laughs> do it. Don't wait. They've only got a, you know, we've only got a short window. Christmas is coming and y'all are. Everybody that's stressed out like you. Yeah. Is trying to buy something on there. Some random something for somebody. Our for eBay store is on fire right now. I mean, for the little small amount of things we've got on there. It's a lot for us. Yeah. You're going to list. I think Mary Beth's going to list the ponies tomorrow that we had. The rest I already of listed ponies. them today. All of them? All of them. Oh. There you go. Some of them have little paint uh, chips and things like that. So they're really good deal. Must source. Yeah, us too. Us too. 
we might have to, you know how our state is kind of not doing so well with COVID right now. Mm -hmm. We might have to go back to doing like live videos every week instead of our like regular hauls. Yeah. Because we just we haven't been anywhere. So not, in, not in a while. Tree. Maybe an estate sale auction. Pick up a wreath I had made. Nice. Estate sales are fun. Do a craft show in the morning. That sounds fun. Decorating, shopping online. Let's see. Wait. Don't don't ask another question. <laughs> well, why not? It's hard to find low prices in Southern California. I bet. I bet it is. You oh. need to come over here, Deborah. Chrissy's gonna take a week off work. I'm I can't wait to take a week off work. I have to tell you something. What? I don't want to hear about your week off work. It's actually three weeks off. Oh. This coming week. This, Did you hear Megan? Yeah. This next week, I've got five days of work left, and then I've got three weeks off. I can't deal with that. I'm sorry. I'm so happy for you, for mm -hmm. real. So I just would. That's the best part about my job. I work in education. I'm not a teacher. God help us all. <laughs> I'm not a teacher, but I work at a college. And so that is like the best benefit I've ever had at any job. They give us two weeks off at Christmas. Mm -hmm. So nice. That's pretty awesome. And so I've taken another week of vacation like before our two weeks off. So I've got three weeks off. I'm so sorry. I would give it to you if I could. I would. Poor Laura. What? Megan's over there like, I'm off for a month. <laughs> Laura, I've already given Megan a job. Oh, good. Yeah. Megan, you oh, can put stuff on eBay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to teach her. She's going to sort my boxes. Mm. That sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. Laura, you know how some people have like a death pile in their house mm -hmm. of stuff? Laura has a death pile of boxes oh, in yeah. her basement. Definitely. <laughs> I don't ever want to throw away any kind of shipping something. Well, of course not. But I'm not in the basement very much, so I just, like, throw it down the steps. And then when I get down there, I just toss it in the corner. I just shove it off in the corner. Isn't that terrible? That's no, really it's fine. It's really bad. Crocheting. Decorating. Happy birthday, Auntie Christy. Oh, that's nice. Getting stuff together for my first live sale. Oh. Nice. That's exciting. Southern Mermaid. Did you find good gifts? Tomorrow I'm taking. Oh, sorry. Tomorrow I'm taking the kids to a drive-through. Cookies with Santa. That's cute. Drunk shopping is great. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Thanks for the, you know, pat on the back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Debbie, that's so nice. Christmas is about together this year more than ever. That's true. That's very true. That's a very good optimistic um, outlook. Christmas, Christmas does stress me out. Because I don't feel like I'm a good gift giver. I don't feel like that's my forte. Yeah, mine either. And so it, it really it makes me very nervous. I've been told I'm too practical. Mm. Now, on the other hand, I like practical gifts. Mm -hmm. I like things like that. I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Megan. That's the nicest thing you've ever said. Megan said, I think you're a good gift giver, Mom. Oh. That's so nice. I'm pretty good at Megan's gifts. <laughs> yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. She says two of my things just sold on eBay while yeah, watching the show. Exactly. I'm telling you. Two of sold tonight. List your business. Catherine is like not even kidding. <laughs> She's like, I am a really good gift giver, and it makes things awkward. <laughs> I don't know. I don't wow. know what that means. But, She's just too good at it, I guess. But Catherine, I love that. Like she, her, her gifts are so good that everybody else is like, oh, oh, mom, that's nice. I love you, mom. <laughs> Off to bed now. Good night, little treasures by Nancy. Lavish my ghost said, "Do you give socks, Laura? I have been known to do that before. I like socks. Ah. Do you like socks?" I do. I like socks. <laughs> do you have another question? Do you want to ask like a different question? No, I'm going to ask another trivia question. Okay, then I'll think of a different other question. You're all about the those kind of questions. They just want to play the game. 
Nobody wants to play that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. God. Thanks for the lead in for the next question. Or I'm kidding. That's really nice. If anybody knows me at all, they know I'm kidding. Okay. Season three and four. What activity actually causes Joey to break his arm? Oh, look, all the people that love socks. Oh, it's so funny. Jamie, I just read your comment, and I just wanted you to know that I, I know about that, and I'm thinking about you a lot. Um, my grandmother died earlier this year, and I know that's not easy. And I know that really sucks. So I'm thinking about you. What was your question? Uh, let's see. What activity caused Joey to break his arm? I remember episodes with him with his arm in a sling, but I don't know how he did Can it. we say that in your chat? Say what? I guess what made him break his arm. Oh, I guess it was something <laughs> naughty. I don't know. Sure. <coughs> Somebody says bed jumping. Katie says that. He was jumping up and down on his bed. Katie, we were going to get you. Katie, what's your worst season? And I'm going to see if you can answer it. Oh, yeah. Katie, let us know. E either Katie. Katie Garnet or Katie Vintage and Vinyl. Catherine says, the gifts just end up so uneven in thoughtfulness, <laughs> and that gets awkward. It, yeah, it's like if you like put your heart and soul into making a gift like super special and emotional or, you know, whatever. And then the other person's like, here's some socks. <laughs> Maybe I should send the socks back. <laughs> okay. Did she, oh, the fourth season. That's your worst. Okay. okay. All right. Season four. This could be four or five. That They're in two segments. What is the ailment of the girl that Chandler picks up at the sleep clinic? <laughs> Sorry, I stumbled over that, but it was hard for me to read it. What is the ailment of the girl that Chandler picks up at the sleep clinic? Does anybody know? Is that really an ailment? Narcolepsy, I see. Screaming in her <laughs> sleep. Narcolepsy. Katie says narcolepsy. It's she talks. Katie in Garnett her, says talks in her sleep. She talks in her sleep. Katie Garnett. Ooh, Katie. We need to like put you on a show. <laughs> like a game show. That's right. I feel like I would be good at um what TV show would I be good at? I don't know. Like Mad Men or Breaking Bad. Do those exist? What? Is there like Trivial Pursuit games for Mad Men? Probably. Or Breaking Bad? Surely. Oh my. Yeah, I would be good at Mad Men, I think. I've only watched that season like, or that series like a million times. <laughs> it's not every day that you find, well, I mean, some people in your professions, I'm sure that there are TV shows about your profession, but there's not a lot of TV shows about graphic design, about like specifically graphic design in its earliest state. Oh yeah. And that's absolutely, you know, and, and advertising, it's basically all that show's about. Well, I'm on a mission now to get you a Mad Men trivia game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to catch up in the chat. That's okay. I, they were talking, a couple of people had talked about losing loved ones to yeah. COVID. I had, I heard a really, just briefly, I mean, just so that you guys know that it's everywhere. I heard a story at the bank this week. A lady was getting in the safe deposit box. And I don't know, she was older than me. She was probably in her 60s, but she lost her dad and five days later lost her mom mm. to co and then ended up in the hospital with COVID herself. That's terrible. I'm trying to deal with all that at the same time. Yeah, that's terrible. So it's really bad. It really is everywhere. I'm so <gasps> sorry. Jamie, Blake's never seen Mad Men. You've got something to do this winter then. Yeah, you do. you got to set him down and have a drink and watch Mad Men. Good grief. You've got to, like, 
smoke if you watch that show. Oh, and that's then, the only that's the only thing I hate about that show. I want a cigarette so bad. Laura is a show. past smoker. Oh, don't say, I know. Well, I, just, I mean, you just told I just on told yourself. myself, didn't I? You just told on yourself. That's that's bad. But I, yeah, once upon a time, and that show. I have never wanted a cigarette so bad in my life as when I was watching that show. How long has it been since you've smoked? Um, I think it's like nine years. Probably longer than that. I think ten. Yeah, maybe it's ten now. I can't see you smoking. <laughs> it's really weird to me <laughs> to think about it. <laughs> Somebody said Cheryl Ross. What? I missed it. I did too. I don't even see Cheryl Ross. There it is. There she is. Oh. Oh, nice. That's a good shout out. Fun. The Recycled Life. Oh, is that the two? Yeah. Laura and um, what you call it? I can't think, but yes. Wow. If Yo So Boho quit 12 years ago. Nice. You've really made it big, Jamie, if you got a shout out from them. Kenny Stratton. I believe that Mad Men and Breaking Bad are my two favorite shows ever. I think. Someone is late to the game, but they're drinking Holiday Ale from Two Roads Brewing. That's nice. Why are you guys saying Selena? <laughs> so earlier, Megan was talking about, I think there's a new series on Netflix that's Selena, which is about Selena. I don't even know if this is what you guys are talking about. I'm just like bringing it up. And so anyway, I asked Laura, I was like, oh, wasn't, was it, what's her name? Jennifer Lopez. I was like, wasn't Jennifer Lopez Selena in the nineties? And Laura's like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, yes, she was. And then I looked it up and I was right. You were right. Thanks. Jennifer Lopez wasn't all that. Way back then. Maybe they're talking about the recycled life. Like one of them is Selena. <laughs> oh, it, I think it that's is. what they're talking about. I couldn't think because one of them is Laura. Her name's Laura. I'm and then they were telling me the other one. Laura Selena. and Selena. Yeah. I'm sorry I just went on that rant about <laughs> Selena, the pop star. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> There's something wrong with me. Well, wait. We've got to figure this out. What? I can't believe that they talked about Jamie. They're like huge. Are you saying that, like, why would they talk about pimply no, ass Jamie? No, don't say that. That's what you just don't. said. You said, why would they talk about piddly ass Jamie no, on I their didn't. big channel? No, I didn't. That is exactly what you just said. <laughs> Jamie is offended. Oh, my God. I'm turning this off. <laughs> you don't know how to turn this uh, off. I'm leaving. Jamie, she didn't mean that. It was, I can't believe it either. I think she's wrong. <laughs> Jamie, I love you. <laughs> oh, so much. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> Laura, I love you too, even though oh, no, you, you don't. think Jamie is. Not tonight, you don't. Just some rinky dink <laughs> channel. God bless America. Some reason why is your face over here? Look how I'm like, blushing all over the place. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, that's so oh, funny. She's she's getting me back for saying people in the serious catalog we did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I knew I knew there would come a day where I could do it. This is it. <laughs> Aren't the, do you think those people are still alive? I don't know. You were still alive? <laughs> I think one of the best things about this community and our friends <laughs> is that we can joke with each other and everybody knows we're kidding. <laughs> I think that's the best thing. <laughs> Michelle, well, you didn't, I don't think anybody noticed. I started out in a sweatshirt earlier in the Fat Bird 5 when I went off off camera once. I was just like, <laughs> I took my sweatshirt off. I couldn't handle it. Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Howdy. Charlotte, I haven't seen you in a while. Just in time. You've saved the day. You'll distract everyone from, you know, what Mary Beth is talking crap about me. I was thinking about putting it up, Michelle, actually. It just have not gotten there yet. Charlotte Cookie. <clears throat> Somebody told me to go have a cigarette, take a break. What did they say? Oh, I noticed. Oh, I noticed. Ah. What are they talking about? Your sweatshirt. Your sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. It got <laughs> hot in here. 
that's one of my, you know, like you say, my nails look terrible. Uh -huh. I think that I say, sure is hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy at the bar, uh -huh. Charlotte says. <laughs> They're saying you're wine warm. I am. Mm. Wine makes me hot. Yep. It does. So now they're afraid I'm going to go have a cigarette. Don't do it, Laura. Now I just want one. Well, don't think about it. Okay. Yeah, I think that if I, had ne if I hadn't had a Mountain Dew in 10 years, I would really want one. Yeah. I think that's the only thing I have to compare that to. Because I don't feel like I'm addicted to anything except Mountain Dew. Well, and furthermore, you... Once you had one after 10 years, don't you think you'd have another one oh, yeah. pretty soon after that? Because once you break that barrier and have <clears> one, <throat> then you're like, oh, well, it's over. Yeah. that That's me. I, I can't ever have a cigarette because, like, I can't, like, have a nervous breakdown and have one cigarette one day because then there'll just be another one the next day and another one the yeah, next day. Yeah, you can't do that. Mm -mm. You have to stay on the wagon. Nope. It's Vinny. Vinny. I don't it? know. Maybe, maybe um, Charlotte just thinks Vinny's on here. <laughs> I didn't see Vinny. Yeah, I haven't seen Vinny tonight. Are you guys lying? <laughs> I don't see Vinny. Mimi's, or Cindy's like, is Vinny here? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he is. I think they duped us. Oh, no. Did you see this Southern Mermaid comment? Uh, no. My cousin's a liver specialist, and she says that Mountain Dew is worse than liquor. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's not good. That's what you get for being mean to me. <laughs> Great. I'm just mean to you, and I'm going to have liver failure. Maybe I need to stop drinking those. I know I do. Michelle says she gave up her Diet Coke. Wow. Good for you. I think the diet stuff is bad for you, too. I think so. I know that Mountain Dew is terrible. I need to stop it. I'll stop it <sighs> one, one of these days. I'll stop it tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, Rhonda. Good night, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, a month ago, now when I cheat and drink, does it taste the same? Man. Oh, that's good. That's a great, 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 great. Southern Mermaid? No. Oh, no. She's really, you know, she's really getting on to you. Oh, no. I need to stop then immediately. That's bad. <laughs> hey, we just, got to, we just got another offer on something on eBay. See, guys, I'm <laughs> telling you. Oh, good job, Katie. Very nice. Ski is delicious. I just need to go back to drinking coffee all day long and quit the soda. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, the niche lady. I think it's the sugar and the fake sugar. It's going to get you. Good night, old stuff, Beth. Bye, old stuff, Beth. Okay. Mountain Dew glows like uranium under a black light. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That can't be good. It might be great. Mine I think it's great. probably bad. Somebody said cha-ching. That's my favorite thing about eBay on my phone is when the cash register goes off. I stop what I'm doing. And I go, oh, every time. Charlotte gave up smoking two days ago, and she's homicidal -ish. Oh. You know how I gave up smoking? I had to go to bed. Like, it took me a week. And every night for a week, because I had... I had cut way back, and I, I, I would just smoke at night, like after the kids went to bed. I'd go outside and smoke. And so it took me a whole week. I would just go to bed. I would just, like, have supper, and the kids would put themselves to bed, and I would just go to bed mm -hmm. and just go to sleep because that's all I wanted to do is smoke a cigarette. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Good luck, Charlotte. You can do it. <laughs> I have faith in you. Absolutely. I think you can do it. You're a great girl. You can do anything. Yeah. Okay, Laura. Yeah. I think that that's going to wrap it up. We've played a game. Did we we showed our content. Two, three, four, five. Yes, we've got exactly enough cards for our nice. package shoppers. Hey, wait. We didn't tell everybody what score they should get. If you got a perfect score, you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80. 80 points. Everybody say how many points they got. Well, it, Jamie's going to get on here and say that she's got like 20,000. <laughs> Michelle's going to say that she's got a million. <laughs> oh. Kenny Stratton <laughs> quits in 2015 and misses it too. Good yeah. job, Kenny. We're very <laughs> proud of you. Good job. It's easier. Does it? Yeah. Katie admitted your final 70 points. 70 points. <laughs> Katie, I think you're the winner. <laughs> you guys gave me 100 points on the first one, so I was. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. That's funny. <laughs> okay, kids. So that's going to wrap it up for us, I believe. So don't forget if you were one of the winners of the Fat Bird Five or the two bonus mystery boxes or the bonus elephant. Lots of bonuses today. Make sure that you send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. As always, we typically do invoices on Sunday evenings and ship out early next week. That's right. And I'm going to do my best to quit Mountain Dew. Maybe that will be my New Year's resolution. Oh, boy. I don't know. Oh, you don't have any faith in me? Well, I do. Yes, I just think it'll be difficult. I just really like it. Yeah, no. that's the problem. I really like it. If it was Coke, Diet Coke, I could do without any of that. Pepsi, <laughs> really like it. But I uh, uh, love you and be so sorry to tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Southern Mermaid. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I'll do it. I've, I've got a, a mission now. I have a mission. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay, guys. So... Good luck with your decorating and your trees and your sourcing and your yard sales or wherever you're doing tomorrow. Have fun. Hope that you all have a fantastic weekend. I have a, I have a little bit of an idea uh -huh. for New Year's. Yes. Like a live show, like with guests, like with lots of guests. So, you know. That sounds exciting. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> so if you're a YouTuber, if you have a channel, be on the lookout for possibly some information about that. Yeah. I'm going to try to get that going, like maybe sometime in January. I'm intrigued and excited. All right. Okay. Okay. So everybody, make <laughs> love sure. You, Michelle. Love you too, Michelle. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you haven't done that already. You can come back later after the video posts and leave us a comment. And please, yeah, please come back and leave us a comment. That'd be great. We love that. Send us an email if you saw anything that you like and anything that you're interested in. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to see what Fat Bird Minds next. See you next time, guys. Good night, everybody.